Hello, this is a video with seven easy steps. You don't even have to do all of them. You could just do one step. That will help you if you are in, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was ADHD analysis paralysis, if it was like a meltdown, a shutdown. I don't know what it was, but I was just really, really, really stuck. So if you're feeling really, really, really stuck and you don't know where to start, this is a little video that I've made for you and also for future me, because it will probably happen again at some point in my life. <laughs> and I hope that it helps. Let's just jump right in. Okay, so first things first, first things first, I'm the realist. Um, first things first is movement. So we're just gonna get out of bed or the couch, wherever we are, no judgment of the floor, and we're just gonna tap. We're just gonna tap ourselves, give yourself a little tap all over. That was me doing, ah, uh, just have a little tap. We're going to just take a big breath in, swing the arms up, exhale down, big exhale out, okay? We're just going to do a couple of those bad boys one more time. Okay, lovely jubbly. We're going to shake it all out like a little rag doll. We might hold our elbows here and just hang out. This is really nice if you've got a bit more time or if you've got a garden and you want to do this barefoot in the garden, this is really, really great. You could just hang out here for a little bit. Again, no judgment. It's all good. We're going to have a little stomp around. <laughs> I kind of did like a little tantrum here. If you're like, if you don't have neighbours, you could scream and shout a bit here as well. Have a little wiggle jiggle, shake it all about. We're going to do some hip circles one way and then the other. And that's it. We're just moving a little bit. Okay, just super duper simple. Next up, we're going to make our bed. I know I hate making my bed. Look how low my ceiling is. It drives, drives me absolutely bananas. Um, we're going to make our bed because even if you end up getting back onto the bed, at least you have made your bed and you'll feel a bit accomplished. Um, I'm wearing a different outfit because I actually filmed this the other day. I actually filmed this when I was having a really terrible, whatever it was, meltdown, freeze. Um, <laughs> and so here I am, I'm making my bed um and I did feel a little bit better for it I also have loads of snuggly blankets you can kind of see at the back there I had some nice snuggly blankets so you know even if you're going to be back on the bed afterwards just make your bed make your bed have a couple of I don't know nice blankets nearby and then at least you're kind of not in bed and kind of rotting all day um because I know for me as tempting as it is it just does not feel good to be you know to be in my bed all day most of the time right um you know, I'm speaking as someone that is phys physically well and able. So I appreciate, you know, uh, there's different, different strokes for different folks, but just take a, take a little moment, make a bed. Um, if you're feeling like you could do that, you could maybe open a window. You could maybe light a candle or pop your diffuser on or spray a little, little room spray or a bit of perfume or something just for an added extra zhuzh. Um, but if not, that's okay as well. The important thing is that we're just making our bed. I'm putting a few pillows on. I'm like, will this look good? Does that look good? No. <laughs> like, I don't like it it's too much. Putting the teddies back in place, giving Teddy a little kiss. Don't judge me. Um, and then it's all like inviting, you know, for later on. So I think this is really, really important. Um, I don't make my bed every day. I am, I am working on making my bed every day, but it doesn't always happen because I get overwhelmed. Um, I'm going to be honest. And sometimes because I sort of have to get on the bed to, to make it, sometimes it's just a bit too tempting to get back into the bed. Um, so yeah, so this is me just making my bed. Here's a really nice blanket that I love. It's, uh, I haven't used this blanket, but I mean, I have used it like this, this, this past week, but I washed it. It's a nice new blanket that I got at Christmas. And I was like, I know in the summertime, I want to have this ni nice, light, fleecy blanket. It's really, really soft as well. I've got my meds. Um, I've got a book. I think some animal deck cards, maybe a remote, just a few bits here in this little tray. Um, I'm moving those things away. So yeah, um, make your bed, even if you're going to lie back on it again, that's okay. Okay, next step is, and I don't know why my camera did this because I did film it, uh, not this way around, but anyway, it's it's gone in a weird, not full frame view, but we're, we're just gonna crack on. So next up is trash and cutlery. I'm just gathering, okay, I'm just gathering. And also, if you really, 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 really don't have any spoons today and you just need to not do the recycling, that is also okay, okay? It's not ideal, but it happens. Um, I do have the spoons today, so I'm going to recycle. I did not have the spoons the other day, 
to hardly get out of bed, so <laughs> no judgment. I'm going to keep this little lot because this is actually, I'm setting up this, it's like a soundscape thing. Works really well, but I can't figure out how to set the clock time on it. And I wanted it as like an alternative to my phone as an alarm clock. So I'm keeping that in, in together just in case I need to send it back. Hopefully I won't. And I'm just gathering, I'm just gathering the trash. And this is a box from a I think a pre-workout I had the other day. So again, I'm not judging myself. We've got some empty boxes going on. Um, we're just gathering the cutlery. I'm just gathering, gathering, gathering in one place. Uh, it just makes it a bit easier on the old brain. Okay. So here I am just doing a bit more gathering, bringing it all together. Um, and then, you know, the next step will be kind of bringing it downstairs. Maybe I just bring, you know, a handful down. If I think I did this in like several loads. So I brought one load down when I went downstairs to put some laundry on of all the cutlery. Pops that in the dishwasher um, just because I was like, then it's all it's one step. You know, I'm keeping it as one step. And then I went out, went out for a walk a little bit later on. I took down the trash and I just put the recycling out again because I was going outside. And we do have recycling inside, but I thought, you know, I have these bulky boxes and things. So done. OK, next up, I um, gathered all my clothes in one area. This is some, like clean laundry as well. So again, I'm just taking a bit of time here to just fold up my laundry. Just getting it all together um I you know I have a few bits here that I would like to be doing there's like a few boxes you can see a little pink box behind me and also under my desk I did actually end up doing those on this same day um I just had some things to go through in each like a couple of little fans in one of them um and it's getting really hot in my room now because it's June so um I yeah I kind of just did a bit of unpacking and they're also foldable boxes so because I was kind of in the mood, because I got myself moving, I was then able to do a little bit more here. Um, so I did, you know, I was kind of able to do that. So I'm sort of still, <laughs> still kind of in my jammies. Um, but I'm just, yeah, folding some, folding some clothes away. Um, and you know, you could put on like a little bit of music whilst you do this, you could put on a podcast, maybe you have uh, this right now on in the background and I hope that it's you know I hope that it's serving you I listen to YouTube videos and podcasts all the time when I'm folding um, laundry and just doing kind of the more mundane tasks sometimes I'll just do it you know without listening to anything and that's kind of nice as well but a lot of the time I find that I just need to have something going on in the background um, and you know these tips I know that some of these you know, I know I have, whilst the space I have, if, if any of you watched my attic room, zero pound, zero dollar makeover <laughs> of my room, um, it's not, you know, it's not set up in the most ideal way. I mean, there's some stuff behind me in the corner there, um, you know, that ideally I would be in, you know, I would have a lot of my stuff in different rooms in a house, but I just have this one big room and a little bit of space in the bathroom, but it's a shared bathroom. So, it's not the most ideal situation, but I'm just trying to make the best of it for the la last couple of months. And so um, maybe you're in a similar position. Maybe you like my, my boyfriend, he doesn't have a lot of storage space in his room. And it's really challenging because, you know, a lot of stuff just kind of has to be out because there's just no space for it because he's kind of in a, a spare room with his parents at the moment. And what we just kind of keep having to remind ourselves is that it's just, it's just temporary. It's not a permanent thing. And I think, you know, and, and I've, I've been in this house now for about two and a half years. It'll be about three years by the time I leave. And that's quite a long time. And it's really, really easy to just kind of feel stuck <laughs> and be like, oh, it just feels like it is forever because it's right now. But it's not. It's just that our brains like to kind of play, play tricks on us, you know. And so I think it's just something worth you know, bearing in mind is that it's not for, it's not forever. <laughs> so, um, hopefully that little pep talk helps. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of making the, the best of things. I do Marie Kondo fold my clothes. Um, however, I need to kind of go through a few bits cause I have, um, a few things that are more winter stuff. I mean, summer in, summer in England, well, the, the weather in England is really tricky because one day it can be like boiling, like today it's quite warm and then tomorrow is supposed to be even warmer and over the weekend it is, but then the next week it will be like rainy or then you'll have like a random really cold day. And I find <laughs> it's really tricky. Even if you like layer, it's just really tricky to like, when I lived in Korea, you could just put all of your winter clothes away, like 
come sort of springtime, you could just have all of your winter clothes folded away. Um, you know, you would just switch out. You just, it was so refreshing. It was so nice. You would be like, right, empty all the wardrobe for the coats and things. And then you just would put in all your summer dresses and you can literally go out and you can just wear a summer dress. I remember my first year, I like went to grab a cardigan or jacket on my way out. My friend was like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, it's for later when it gets colder. And she was like, it won't get cold. And I was like, oh yeah, I live in Korea now. Like it just doesn't, even when it's dark, it would just be like, it would just be warm. Even if it was like monsoony rain, it would still be like really, really warm. Um, so yeah, so there's a few clothes that I have out still cause I'm going to be wearing them today. Um, but yeah, everything else just got kind of folded away. Um, yeah, bar sort of one or two bits. There's also a couple of bits I need to add to the laundry, but yeah, folding of the clothes. Okay, next up, we're going to do one task. This task is me just cleaning my mirror. I've been putting it off for ages. It takes two minutes. It's done. <laughs> next up, if you want to know how to do this hairstyle, you can check out this video. I will make sure I link it. And um, we're just going to get dressed. This is some really buttery soft leggings. They're very comfy. I've got some bright, fun socks. They're purple. I've got a sports bra on because it's comfortable. And I've got this super soft top on. Okay, so... My next step when you're in a big old funk, funk a dunk, is to just get outside, just get out in nature. Maybe you live by the sea, you can maybe just walk barefoot on the, on the beach, feel the sand between your toes. If you're someone that hates that feeling, wear shoes. Um, maybe you're by a lake that you could dip your feet into. Oh, there's a cat just sunbathing in front of me. Hang on, I'll try and get it. <laughs> okay, it ran away, but hopefully you saw it because I thought it was quite cute. <laughs> um, sorry, sorry cat for ruining your sunbathing. Um, but yeah, just getting outside I think can be really good, even if it's, um, obviously today it's a gorgeous day and sometimes to be honest with you that doesn't always help me, sometimes I feel like I should be more happy or feeling good when it's nice and sunny outside. Um, I get that, you know, s -s 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 summertime sadness vibe, <laughs> um, but you know if it's a nice day, a little bit of vitamin D never hurt anyone, obviously wear sunscreen. <laughs> Can hurt, it can hurt people, but you know what I mean. Um, now I'm going to have the wear sunscreen song in my head. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm in the graveyard where you can often find me. I just like it because there's lots of loops that I can do. Um, I, there is someone like in the, in the graveyard next door um, who's laying down some flowers and bits. So I won't walk there just because I think it's nice to give people, you know, their space. Um, and also, obviously, I'm filming. Um, but yeah, sometimes I'll just walk around and, I don't know, just send a bit of love to, especially some of the older graves, you know, who maybe don't have family in the area anymore. It's just kind of nice to just walk around. Maybe that sounds a bit morbid, but I, I don't think it is. I think it's just nice to, you know, remember people even if you didn't know them it's just nice to be like hey um well you know just to be be here I think that's just I don't know I think it's just nice <laughs> um <laughs> so yeah I like it because there's lots of I can do lots of different loops um and it's just a good way for me to get some steps in and uh it's not an area that floods so if it's really horrible weather I can just come here with my with my rain boots but I think even if it's if you're watching this and it's not great weather outside like is it the is it the scandinavians that have that saying there's no bad weather only bad clothing <laughs> um you know whack a whack a waterproof on or a jacket or grab an umbrella and just have just get outside i think whenever i go outside there's always something and it can be like really really tiny things it might be this robin that sometimes just follows me a bit around the graveyard <laughs> Or maybe I'm following it, I don't know. It might be that cat a minute ago that was like sunbathing and I'm like, <laughs> you know, it just makes me kind of chuckle. One time I found like loads and loads of butterflies um, in this one area. I might try and visit it later actually. Um, and I was like, whoa, it's just, there's just, it's like a butterfly. 
hedge and they were just all there and I was like this is awesome um one time I went out at like 10 in the evening obviously I appreciate not everyone lives in a safe place but I'm lucky that I knock on what I do um and I met this guy who was like oh are you trying to see the aurora borealis and I was like what <laughs> it was like maybe a month or two ago and uh, apparently they were like really visible that evening, like, which I wouldn't have known because I don't watch the news because I just get really depressed and hopeless and apathetic when I watch the news. Um, but yeah, so that was cool. I mean, I didn't see them, but it was cool. <laughs> um, and had an interesting conversation with him about other areas to walk in my, my local area. So I just think if you go out and, you know, if you pass someone, just, just say hi or, you know, give their little dog a stroke or whatever. I think... Uh, it does a lot for the mood, you know, just getting out. And even if you're somewhere where you won't see anyone, I just think there's always something going on in nature. Like sometimes it's just like a really cool cobweb. Like sometimes I've seen some really cool spider webs in the morning with the dew or some really beautiful frozen leaves, leaves, um, things like that. So I think just, and if you can, if you can be barefoot, which I didn't think about before I left the house, otherwise I would have worn sandals, but um, I'll, I'm sure I'll go out again for a, a walk this evening. Um, and I might just barefoot it, or if you've got a garden, you could you could stand barefoot in the garden. I think there's something really, really special about um, foot to foot to earth energy. In yoga, it's called tilleric energy. Um, it's very, very revitalizing. Even a forward fold outside in the garden, uh, standing, is really, really great. You can almost feel the energy moving up through the feet, um, and then the uh, and then the hands. So it's pretty, it's pretty special. Um, but yeah, so there's always some really cool things that are happening outside in nature if you are willing to, you know, just go outside for a minute. Um, so that would be my next, my next thing. Outside, if you can get barefoot and outside. Heck, if you can do like a cold water swim or a dip in the ocean or a lake, even better. I don't have anywhere nearby I could do that. Um, I'm actually like, I live in one of the areas in England that's like the furthest away from the sea. Um, and the, the river here is not good to, to swim in. Um, but there, there are areas close by I could, but they, they're, they, they cost me money to get there. So I, uh, but there's a swimming pool over there, which I might go into later or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, get out in nature is my, is my point for this ramble. Um, if you can, just enjoy the sounds or you can put on your favourite podcast or music and uh, have a little listen to that. And um, yeah, gives you a little bit of a boost. Maybe, maybe have a look around for something interesting or have a bit of a curious, like childlike mindset to it and just see, just see if you can find something to be curious about what is that bird doing um yeah okay so there you have it that was my video if you've had this happen to you and you have any tips tricks hacks please comment below let me know that would be really really helpful i'm sure other people would find it helpful as well in this community um and i hope that this i hope that this was useful and um yeah take care of yourself i know i know a lot of things go into self-care in terms of the boring stuff like just eating well and adequate sleep and rest and movement and sweating out etc um but i think it's really really difficult on low to no spoon days so um yeah i hope this served and i will see you in my next video thanks for watching bye